So much of, of, of what we see and think about where sexuality is concerned is, is provoked by film. In, in this one, Pants on Fire provokes lots of different thoughts about relationships, adultery, monogamy, those kinds of things. <laughs> Every affair that I've seen has been, uh, you know, a total living nightmare for the people that were going through it until about four or five years later. And then they can, people can uh, kind of look back at it and laugh. I've been having an affair with Barry Grogan. You shouldn't me. No, he's telling Deirdre tonight. Julie, no. No. No, 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 no. Yeah? That's pretty stupid. Julie, do you know how stupid that is to have an affair? No, do you or do you not know how stupid that is? I'm sorry. Shit! So, did you sleep with him? Yeah. A lot? Maybe a couple dozen times. Oh, shit. Where? <laughs> in the classroom after school. In the classroom? You know, in a station oh, wagon. Shit. Oh, man. Jesus, what a loser, Barry Grogan! You know, it's a film, it's a non-sexy film about sex, really. And, um, yeah, I think one of my, maybe one of my favorite scenes in the whole movie is the one where Julie and Barry are in the bathtub and they've, um, you know, there have been so many back and forths and, you know, it's partly it's just shocking that she's back there with him. Um, that in and of itself, in the context of the film, get, comes as a surprise. And he can't get it up, and she's, her react, she's like playing with his penis and saying, this, it's cute, you know, she's trying to make him feel better, and, which only makes him feel worse, and it's just so uncomfortable. And, it's, and I really enjoy watching audiences squirm when they watch that. Um, and it's, it's funny, but it's, it's really un uncomfortably funny. not for more than a few seconds. It's like the act of examining, it changes it, usually. And so little. Weep, weep. Oh, we cut it out. Something's the matter. Wondering if you're gonna break my heart again. Oh, Barry. Oh, gosh. Mm. So you won't break my heart? Hmm. When are you going to divorce Max? Well, we signed this contract. You and Max? I should have told you about it before. He and I can't split up. We can't even plan to split up before December 2nd. Wait, this is actually in writing somewhere? Yeah. Then what are you doing here? Well, I was trying to be nice. To me? Yes! You're here all alone. The, the faucet leaks. Deirdre wouldn't take you back. I feel bad. And besides, I don't know if it's going to work out with Max either. We can't agree on having kids. Look, it'd be the same if it was you and me. I don't know if I want to have any more kids. 
I can't afford to do what I've got already. But this would be our child. Yours. Mine. Let's get out of the tub. Well, now I feel bad. Please don't be mad at me, Barry. I mean, Max. I mean, Max. What did you just say? Did you just call me Barry? You did, didn't you? You know, I think you're still getting in on Barry Grogan. Don't be mad, Max, please. Are you sleeping with him? No. You see him every day, don't you? Well, we work together. So how are we supposed to be working on our marriage when you're thinking about someone else? Well? How do I know? I'm confused. You confused? I wanted to make a, like a black comedy about something that, that with no, you know, with no mythologizing, with no cartoonishness, that's no, you know, with no, um, you know, as little fiction as possible. A black comedy that, that in my opinion is, is really hard hitting because there's no, there's no escaping it. There's no, there's no getting, there's no way out. <laughs>